Roberto. Is, is indeed a very vast, is, is a vast one, right? And 
that's why we decided to have it in two two or three phases so just to give a quick recap of what shiva sir talked about last time can anyone just summarize can you can you just tell me what a gamakam is oscillation between two nodes uh okay that's that's a that's part of the definition of gamakam but but can you can anyone tell me what is a function of a gamakam in carnatic music uh, elders are looking to respond to Our what is the function of i, I know this is this is the topic of the like them but i just want to uh, uh yes sir ornamentation uh, yeah so that is the standard definition of gamakam that people people say it is an it's an ornamentation right it gives a drone effect sorry gives a drone effect drone effect okay fine so that basically it's pretty so much the same thing the essence of the raga sorry so that gamakam should give the essence of the raga right? you are close to what i want to uh, actually get at so ornamentation is not the right way of saying uh, or describing the entire role of gamakam i won't say it's not the right it's not the complete let's put it like that the reason is if i say ornamentation so uh, you you have a vigraham for example and you just you 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 would put some necklaces to it just to make it beautiful that is ornamentation right that is ornamentation but what i am saying is gamakams empower we have the role to empower notes to form ragas right so it is like gamakams or it's like like an abhushanam or a or a or a an ornament that actually gives the very form to uh, that vigraham that i'm talking about right vigraham meaning it's is a is like god's uh, form right idols that you have in temples <coughs> so what you need to remember is gamakam is not a simple ornamentation it actually gives the notes in our system the power to form a raga right uh, but gamakas have also have another important function and that is that they help us differentiate between two similar sounding ragas and that is going to be the central theme of today's lecture demonstration i want to help you go to the next level of identifying different ragams <coughs> when you when you want to suppose you listen to someone sing a ragam and you want to identify it what is the first thing you all look at the key phrases of the ragam okay i was expecting a much more uh, lower uh, level of answer ah uh, what notes about notes are there in that ragam clear yeah. so you will start looking at what is the aravanam or onam so what did i sing right now which ragam did i sing Anyone? Shri Raga. So right, it was Shri Raga. It was Shri Raga Varnam. So how do you identify that that what I sang was Shri Raga? You would look at okay, I sang Sari Sari Ma Pa Ni Sa and Sani Pa Mari Gari Sa. So that is why it is Shri Raga. Or maybe that you you know which or it is so and so number of the Varnam in the book or whatever. But uh, that is not all there is to Shri Raga. Shri Raga is not Sari Ma Pa Ni Sa Sani Pa Mari Gari Sa. That is what I want to want you to take. back home with you after this lecture demonstration so what is it that makes shri ragam shri ragam and not darbar no i am just giving a small example but okay sakit you help tell me sorry yes it is gama that is the short that is what is a key message that i want you to take home uh the other message message just rather that i want to drive home is uh are that uh, i i generally want to give you some basic uh, i should say some kind of framework or or uh, uh, some some key row key uh, thumb rules or whatever you want to call them that will help you know when to give how much gamakam chumma notes ashtinde irukona gamakam you cannot you cannot say that okay you cannot just keep shaking a note and then say i am doing gamakam you also have to understand when to do how much Okay, that is a whole idea. That that's what I want to uh, try to uh, do today. 
right <coughs> so what i sang right now was shri rag right so let's take the rishabham what kind of rishabham is there in shri rag anyone what is the name of the of the type chatushruti rishabham it's called chatushruti rishabham right read to re right now see how i'm singing that re in most throughout the varnam does it how many of you know that varnam already okay so some of you know it right so how how do we sing that re do we shake the re or we give it flat sagit yeah why do you do it flat do you know the answer to that Sorry. In the ragam, in Sri Ragam, uh, when you sing the ragam, the murchana, uh-huh. the V doesn't have a gamma. Gamma gamma. Okay, that's what I'm asking. So why is that so? Why would you not shake the V in Sri Ragam? Huh? Yes. One answer. I have seen different shades between any other ragam that has a C or. Okay. Okay. I think I'm getting confused with another ragam. Yeah, that's what that's what he is also Shivram is also trying to get at. So is probably it, it's is it to do with the preceding and succeeding exactly. note. Exactly. Exactly. And how this fits in with the other two. Right. So now let me give you another example and let me so that way we will we'll be able to drive one key message or key fact for you. sahana but not in shri ragam why because of the ga right in shri ragam what is the kind of gandharam that you have it is called what is the type of ga in shri ragam come on how well sleepy you are i mean i'm sure this is a very simple question ri ga ri sa ri ga ri ga which ga is that so it's called the sadharana gandharam right or g ga 2 right <coughs> but what is the gandharam in sahana ri sa ri ga ri that's called antara gandharam or ga 3 so this is a general rule that one can follow actually so whenever you have a chatushruti rishabham sadharana gandharam combination combination in any ragam that re has to be flat okay whereas when you have a chatushruti rishabham antara gandharam you can shake the re and most probably the ga will be flat most probably so this is a very key important rule that you can actually generalize across lot of ragams right <coughs> <coughs> okay so i said we can shake the re right so what is that shaking called it's, it's called a gamakam do you have has anyone read or heard about what is that the type of gamakam called anyone no it's not kampita. what is the other name kampita yes kampita so it's called kampita gamakam kampita gamakam is the most Uh, commonly used gamakam in carnatic music system 
right? It's very very simple to understand. Complete a gamma cum is a gamma cum that that will take that will uh, you you shake a note to give the shade of its next note. So for example, you shake re to give the shade of ga, ga. right? That's what is that is what I'm doing in Sahana, right? Re. Can you get the shade of ga there? Gari 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 gari, right? So that kind of gamakam is called kampita gamakam. Now let me do one thing. Let us let us try to employ the same gamakam in Sri Ragam and see whether whether that is possible or not. Suppose I start shaking the rishabam in Sri Ragam. Sa ri. Is it is it? Do you do you think I am going to sing Sadharna Gandharam next? No. No. That is the reason why we will not shake the rishabam in. Sri Ragam, but there is an exception to this. I specifically took Sri Ragam because you can still shake the re under one. I won't say one, but but under a specific ex, uh, exception. Can can you just quickly think and tell me when you can do that? All those people who know the Arohana Magrohana Sri Ragam can actually answer this question. See if I want to sing Sari Mapa Nisa. Sorry. Sari Pa. Avro Manatla. Avro Manatla. It has to be flat. Sari Pa Mari Ga Ri. Because I'm going to sing Ga after that Ri. But if I want to sing the Aro Hanam kind of a phrase, Sari Mapa, that is fine. We are not violating any rule. The the simple thing that you have to understand here is what is the next note I'm singing, right? So, the absence or presence of kampita gamakams. The kampita gamakam is the, as I told you, the most commonly used gamakam in our system. The absence or presence of that gamakam in a ragam will largely depend on the next note that is available, or that you are going to, that you are about to sing. Okay. How many different gamakams are there? Sorry. How many different? Yeah. So, uh, some books say there are ten gamakams, dasha vidham. But there are some books which say there are 15, mm. and one of the books that say 15 is the Sangeeta Sampradaya Pradeshin, which is which is largely being studied now and being explored uh, in the current uh, times. Uh, <clears throat> but most of these gamakams are very relevant to instrumentalists, especially vainikas. Okay, depending on the way they actually hold on to the next note, uh, they kind of name the gamakams. by and large we don't use all the 15 gamakams in vocal music and i will be touching upon only those kind of gamakams which uh, which we are which we are currently using most of them which we are using uh, nowadays okay <coughs> so, so i so want this to be a lecture demonstration so i i'll also be singing often i i know i'm not such a bad singer so you can just so go for just one question yeah. sir going back to that would it be reasonable to kind of make a generalization that If the two adjacent notes have a larger gap in frequency between them, there's a greater possibility you uh, uh, do a complete gamma come on the on the. Definitely, there's a larger possibility. Okay. Yes. Ima na tiche bo ye men china bo ye ma.
If I change from uh, no, from from no, Todi, no, 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 no. I'm just saying, you know, when the Prithvi Jamam, then the no, 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 no. I mean, from Todi, you you just change the Madhimam to Prati Madhimam. What is the first quick example that you can think about? Vajas. Sorry. Vajas. No, the Sadar Nagandaram. I must still want to keep. I basically oh, want to keep the Sadar yeah. Nagandaram, and I want to change it to Varali. Varali, yes, oh. Varali. Yeah. Only the Nishadam is different. But I just want to. Uh, give you a common example of uh, changing, uh, keeping that uh, sadharna gandharam same and changing it to pratimadhimam. <coughs> 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 So, in Varali, you have the Sadharana Gandharam Pratimadhimam combination, right? But how much am I shaking that ga? Did I shake it as much as I, sh- as I <coughs> did for Todi? Ga, ma, ga, nida, ma, ga, 
Start shaking from Sadharna Gandharam, which is almost close to Chatushruti Vishabham, up to Pratimadhima. If I ah. start, that, that's, not, that's not possible, okay. simple. It's not aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Right? So you can't keep shaking as much as you want to. So you just keep hovering around that note itself, but you still need to shake it. Okay. Because. That's the reason why uh, Viva the Dragons are not. Uh, very exactly, exactly. Okay. Right? So, so, the first thing I. The, again, let, let me just take you back a little uh, from where I started. I, I first said that differences between ragams can be identified by the type of gamakam, especially the kampa, kampita gamakam that is given. Whether there is a kampita gamakam for some notes or not, right? I give you a, an example. And then next, I told you that you cannot keep shaking those notes as much as you want to. You, there is some limit to how much you can shake. And even that limit of shaking is governed by the combination of notes that we are talking about. Now, now I want to convey another important uh, message. And that is that uh, when you have two very similar sounding ragams, okay, 
I am talking about very very similar sounding ragas. For example, you have a parent raga and its derivative, and its denny raga, one of its denny ragas. So you can by now you can say it's going to sound very very similar to you, right? Because most of the notes are going to be almost all notes are going to be the same. So they are going to sound very similar. But the differences between these two ragams need not be restricted only to the scale of the jani raga. Are you getting what I'm saying? So what uh, the the key message that I the over the overarching theme that I want to uh, emphasize here is that you don't have to look at the scale of a ragam to identify the ragam. Right? So now let us let's take this example of Chakravakam Vegavahini. <clears throat> so how many of you know Chakravakam? Has, has anyone learned the song in Chakravakam? Yeah. What is the scale for it? Tell me the notes. Tell me the notes. Sorry. Yeah, so tell me the type of notes. The re in the re or the. Um, sure. Yeah. Mm, so, ha has anyone heard the Sukuna Mule? The song called Sukuna Mule? Right? So, that is in Chakravagam. Ishane Inda. Right? That's another song, very popular song. In, uh, no, you can nod your heads if you. Or you can say. Gajalana Yudha. Okay, so that is Vegavari. That is Vega Vahini, although many people say it's Chakravakam, it's wrongly said Chakravakam, no, but I, it is a Vega Vahini. Isn't it in Dikshadar school they call it Vega Vahini? That is what I am trying to convey okay. here. <coughs> although uh, in Dikshadar school uh, the ragam is called Vega Vahini, um, it's, uh, if, if you just neutralize all ragams, Vega Vahini is a janim of Chakravakam. Why is Chakravakam or Vega Vahini? Gajalana Yutam is Vega Vahini. And I'll tell you exactly why now. Why that is called Vega Vahini and not Chakravagam? One reason is, of course, the scale is not Sarigama Padanisa for Vega Vahini. For Vega Vahini, the scale is Samagama Padanisa. But then that is not the only difference. Okay, so let me give you a, let, let, let us sing one song in Chakravagam, or I'll just give you a shade for Chakravagam, and then I'll compare it with how I would sing Vega Vahini. <coughs> See how I'm singing that God Ma. Sariga Ma. So what am I shaking here? I'm shaking the Ga and keeping the Ma flat. Ga Ma Ga Ma Padani Da Ba Ma Ga Ba Ma Gari Ni. Okay, so this is. Chakravakam. And the scale for Chakravakam is Sarigama Padanisa, Saridapa Magrisa. Sarigama Padanisa, Saridapa Magrisa. Okay? So I keep the Ma flat, but I shake the Ga. Now what is Vega Vahini? I'll, I'll sing this, the flat structure of Vega Vahini. Samagama Padani Sa Sa Nida Pa Magari Sa This is Tyagaraja song. Right, I, I'm sorry, I've not heard this song. Yeah. But I know the, the only one. Veena Pushtaka. Veena Pushtaka Dharini and uh, Gajana Nayutam. Right? Is there any other song of Tagaraja Swami? No. That's the only one. Right. Uh, so maybe you can you can help me uh, uh, inform when I say the main difference between Vega Vahini and Chakravakam. One is, of course, that it is Samagama Padanisa, right? But now notice how I am singing this Gajanan Yutam. Gajanan Yutam. Or I should say, I should sing Veena Pustakadarin. That's a better mm -hmm. example. Did you notice something weird over 
क्यों किया साकेत सॉरी इट्स लाइक इट्स नॉट इट्स वेरी डिफरेंट राइट इन वेग वाहिनी द गार रिमेन्स फ्लैट लार्जली फ्लैट बट इज द मा टेक्स दैट दैट फुल ऑसोलेशन गॉरी गिंग दिस